Hello, welcome to Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we're back on No Man's Land for episode number 28. And I'm just sitting here enjoying the morning sunshine, afternoon sunshine, sorry, it's uh, later than I thought. And just enjoying the uh, ambient sounds of the frogs. Very nice. But we have uh, work to do, of course. Uh, we'll probably move on to the next day because it's going to be a little bit late. Um, though I could fertilise one of these fields. I think I will fertilise one of these fields. So we'll jump into the John Deere and grab the fertilizer spreader and at least if we get one application done on these then we can move on and do the second one when the crop has germinated so this is just going to be the correct one no that's lime of course it is right i remember that the one in there is lime and this one is fertilizer Which probably is, I don't know, looks like it's got something in it. Line that up properly. There we go, 19%, and pretty sure that's not fertilizer, but I will check it nonetheless. I always manage to get it wrong. It is fertilizer. That will get us enough to get going with, I think. So we'll get this one done. And uh, we'll whiz straight into a lovely time lapse. <laughs> completes the first application which both fields should show now I'll check in a second let's get up to where it finishes about there let's have a quick look yep that's pretty good and uh, so when that crops germinated we will uh, put the second application on and it'll be all good to go so I'll see you back over at the farm I know, we'll leave that uh, about there, hiding amongst the trees. And we'll take this tractor over to the big shed here, and I think we will move on to the next day. And see what that will bring. Uh, lots of work to do with the animals, I would think as well as the uh, next for application of fertilizer that should keep us pretty busy and a nice uh, boost to our money there we go 96,000 so we're a little bit low lower than normal shall we say but um, might have some things to sell too uh, Egg production, 
Oh, we fill up with wool. So that's the first job is to get the wool over to the spinnery. So we'll get on there to probably the John Deere, see that's right in the right place. And we'll get that on the trailer and I'll see you over at the spinnery. Right yeah, nice big load of wool. Let's see if I can get that close enough here. Tuck around the corner. And that'll keep that going for a while. And we're bound to have some more uh, pellets of clothes here. Couple. So let's check the price now. Uh, clothes, where are we? Can never see it. Um, gone straight past it, obviously. Clothes, there it is. 13,000. No. So it won't be till April, and we're still in January, so. Looks like there's room for more to spawn, so we won't worry about those at the present time. Let's head back over to the shed, put this trailer away. Okay, just uh, pop that in there. Anywhere there will do. And then we better check on the animals. Let's see if that, uh, that um, mix is still full of turtle mixed ration, so we need to hit hook this trailer up to it and uh, give that to the cows we might get away with doing uh, no more than that for the cows this time into this tight little space there we go out of the way Bessie alright let's get rid of that Nice full load, and uh, we might now have the option of upgrading this mixer to the larger one. Couldn't do that previously because it was full of total mixed ration. Alright, that's so empty. Let's have a quick look. Uh, they still got a lot of hay, so can't really add any more total mixed ration to all they consume that but uh, they're going all right they've uh, got plenty of milk actually uh, probably need to transport that as well over to the dairy uh, the chickens are pretty good and the sheep will need water and grass so i just uh, maneuver my way out of here very carefully no, not carefully enough okay yeah, shall we buy the new mixer now or not firstly, before I head over there let's just check how much it is that would be uh, a wise thing to do. So under animals, um, and it's that one, which is 24 cubic meters, and the one we have is not here. Ah, hold on, haven't gone far enough. Is 13, so quite a bit. So that should just be double the what I've been putting in there, roughly. Then it's only 50,000. All right, I'll see you over at the shop. Okay, let's get this in and sold. We get a fair bit for this actually. I don't remember how much you paid for it. Where's my marker going? Oh, couldn't find. Couldn't see it. Radio. So we want that. Repair five dollars. So I think we can afford that. Repaint and it's worth 26,000 not very much but does pay for half the new one well oh, this out of here
And let's get the new one. Uh, animals, that's what I want. Um, 22, 24. So that's the one to get. No options. We shall buy that. Probably should have bought it to start with, but um, yeah. That is quite a bit bigger. Well, as I said, but roughly twice the size. So uh, that should make life a lot easier. I'll get this over to the cow shed. Right, we'll leave that there, and uh, we need to actually use the front wheel loader. So we'll leave that tractor there as well. And uh, we'll jump into this. And we shall go and feed the sheep. We also need to give them water, so we will need to uh, gather tractors over that way, so we can use the uh, case in that one. So I'll uh, time lapse feeding and watering the sheep. Right, full load of milk here, we'll drop that off to the dairy after I smash into it. Get that loaded off. Uh, we probably have some butter and cheese. Yes, let's just see what the prices are like for butter and cheese. So three and a half is good for that, for cheese, and it's currently three five, so yes, very good. Butter is one eight. Yes, both good prices. Right, that's the milk dropped off. I'll see you back over here with the trailer and we'll sell all our lovely products there. Alright, we'll just pick up uh, these pallets and head over to the store. I've got a worker doing the uh, uh, the fertilising on the fields. Probably just about finished the first one, but we'll just get this loaded up and have a look as we go past. Right, get a nice little bit of income from this. So we'll head off over to the store and I'll check on the worker on the way. I'll see you over there. Okay, the worker has decided to stop for some reason. So uh, we'll go and finish off his job, he or her job, <laughs> yeah, as soon as we sell off these products. See how much we get. Might be a huge amount, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, 17,000, that's uh, not too bad. So I'll get this back over in the shed and I'll jump on the uh, 
Now the tractor and get the fertilise fertilising finished. Not quite sure why they decided to stop here, but uh, they did. Let's go back and finish the side. Should have enough fertiliser to do the whole lot. Just check how that's going. Uh, a bit hard to check while you're moving, but. Uh, We'll get to the end there and then we'll have a look. That's that one done. Let's move on to this next one. A bit smaller. Uh, we'll put this on a worker and see how we go. Okay. Yep, that one's pretty good. And just double check the animals are now all right. Uh, the sheep. Now we're getting low on grass, but I know to you that the sheep can eat hay as well. So there's no urgency, but we will need to uh, get some more grass cut before too long. Chickens are still going well. And of course the cows are going well. We just... Uh, Gave them water, so they're pretty full up. Well, I'll just uh, time lapse the rest of this and see you when the field is done. So that's both the fields done, uh, so they're all ready to go. All we have to do is wait for them to mature and be ready to harvest. Oh, I just missed a bit there. Get that last little bit. There we go. Uh, just double check we got it all. Very good. So we'll just uh, put this back over here. And we can't really do anything more uh, at the moment, so I think what we'll do is move on again. Uh, animals are all looked after, the crops are all looked after, everything's been done. Um, so we'll just get over to our nice little house and have another look at our lovely new vehicle which we haven't had a chance to use yet but um, I'm sure we'll be able to go for a little drive somewhere soon and have a look there's a few things I want to have a look at actually but let's just move on till the next day I'll see you then oh and a nice lot of uh, money that we have there and of course the uh, wool is all full up so we'll get that sorted out I'll see you over at the spinnery again those sheep are producing really well. Getting loads of bales. Come on. Surely I'm close enough there. No. Obviously not. Try it from this way. Always have trouble getting into this trigger. Am I right? Oh, it's still not right. See when I've got it right. Well, believe it or not, it's not taking them because the uh, spinnery is full. So, first time for everything. So, let's just see if I can unload those there. Uh, check I've got the right size. Right side, yes. A bit too close, probably. Um, let's back up a bit. No. We need to get a little bit further away. I can just leave them there so that it'll take them when it's ready. Watch out for the ditch. Where do you put that there? I get about here. There we go. 
Well, that's a very good position to be in. Uh, I'll just get this back over in the shed. Right, that's the trailer dropped off. Just turn that off and head over here and just go for a little drive in our new car. And you can see that I've just put in a little bit of a new road here which will form the boundary of uh, this farm over there. And this road will head off over this way. A little area that I spied when I was uh, at the top of that uh, field extension doing the ploughing. I looked over towards uh, well, whatever direction that is. Uh, and there's a bit of a low lying area over here, just over this hill. Yeah, just here. And I think that would make an ideal place for uh, a little lake down here and a vineyard on the slopes of these hills I'm not quite sure exactly where more than likely over that way we shall see but I'm actually going to model this uh, roughly after a vineyard that's in the area where I live um, which looks quite Mediterranean but um, it's not so that will be good uh, Good to do. That will be coming up, uh, maybe not in the next episode, but um, in a future episode. Not It may be next uh, episode. I'm not quite sure. No, but thanks very much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this one. Um, subscribe and like the channel if you uh, feel so inclined. Or, or leave a comment. I'm always much appreciated. So I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.